Hey guys, and today I'm making a Let's Play kind of video on Forza Horizon 3. And now, as you can see, I'm in the Horizon Edition GTR. And I wanted to start the episode off in this car, because it just sounds awesome. I'll do a little, like, uh, pull for you, and you can kind of, like, see what it sounds like, because it sounds absolutely awesome. There you go guys, it sounds absolutely insane in my opinion. And today we're just going to do um, some races and I'm going to make a separate video on finding some barn finds because like I've got so many on the map as you can guys can see, like if I pull the map up quickly, uh, you guys can see we've got kind of a lot of barn finds. We've got two there and I believe we've got that one and that one up there. So we've got five barn finds to find. I know me, they'll take absolutely ages. Now, today, I think we should do a street race, because then we can unlock the Midnight Battle, um, which, as you guys can see, is down there. And we just need to do one more street race to unlock the Midnight Battle. Uh, yeah, it's called the Midnight Battle. Um, so, I believe there's a street race. Uh, where is the street race? Uh, there. There's a street race, I believe. If we do this race, then um, we'll be able to unlock the Midnight Battle. Uh, what we also need to do is we just need to finish some races, expand our festivals. I believe there's one near the street race, one race, uh, like which is linked to the Yarra Valley Festival, uh, which I haven't done yet. And we're going to do that in this episode after we've done the street race and the Midnight Battle. We'll see how long this takes. And yeah, we'll just do that and see how it goes. So in this kind of series bit of Forza, we're going to just be doing races, we're going to be finding barn finds, if I have any more to find, uh, after <laughs> I've found these five um, five that I've got on the map for about a week now. Um, and yeah, I'll just be like messing about doing some races. I hope you guys really enjoyed these Forza episodes, because I know I enjoy making them. Uh, definitely because it's just one of my favorite games ever i've always been a fan of forza since i was like really young so guys we just got to the street race it's called rainforest escape which sounds quite good i believe we're going to be doing this race in the gtr and hopefully get the midnight battle unlocked i think we're capable of winning this race as you can see there's another horizon gtr hi mate like your car i, I like my car as well because it's the same do you get me no okay you don't like me do you so guys, we're coming to the end of the race. Hopefully, if I can keep my first place position uh, and shift gear, uh, then we'll win this race. And three, two, one, cross the line. First place, what a win. So now we can do the Midnight Battle. I believe, actually, I don't know what car this is. I really don't. Um, I <laughs> probably It's probably bad that I don't know which car we're racing to get. Because basically, I believe... The Midnight Battles are um, pink slip races. If I'm wrong, then I'll find out. But I believe they're pink slip races. So basically, if you guys know what pink slip races are, you basically, you bet your cars. And if you lose, then you give your car. If you win, then you get their car. Uh, I don't know whether you lose your car. If um, oh, oh, come on, come on. M3 Horizon Edition. For the video, please. Please, for the video. And... No, but we got 100k. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Uh, we can use that video to uh, then buy ourselves another Horizon Edition car. Uh, right now, I've got the GTR. You guys know that. I'm in the GTR right now. And we've also got the Horizon Edition M4. So, here we go. To me. Gets right up in my face. Says he's got a message for you. One race, head to head, midnight tonight. He staked his car if you can beat him. How cool is that? I felt like I was in one of those movies. There you go, our first midnight battle. That's cool. Um, it's nineteen, so nineteen ninety seven BMW M three. I believe that is the um, wide body one that we could have won. Just I don't think it's um, the Horizon Edition one, but it's still cool to get it. Otherwise, because I believe you can't get it from the auto show. And um, the um, pink slip cars, I think you have to. Um, you have to win from the pink slip races and you can't get them at the auto show so guys we're here at our first midnight battle well we're nearly here um yeah i just hope okay so that is i believe a wide body m3 hopefully 
the mighty GTR beats this M3. It should do, but you never know what people have in these BMWs, you know, they're like, they're top notch stuff. So yeah, let's start the midnight battle. I'm gonna leave the full race, you guys probably know, I sometimes cut the races out. I'm gonna leave the whole race in for this race, because I believe it's just important to leave it in. Right, shift, come on. We had a better launch than them. I believe they're rear wheel drive, so we should, but we should be better in the corners as well. Uh, although they could be better by drifting. I don't know. We'll see, though. Whoa, that was a bit... Yo, that was a good save. That was, like, that was mental. I thought I was losing it then. Still, I got the rewind button, I guess, but no one needs to know that, okay? Keep that to yourselves. I don't use rewind, okay? You, you shouldn't use rewind. Use it if you need to. But anyway, <laughs> I hope I hope this race goes to plan. At the moment, it is, but you never know what can happen if I crash and don't use the rewind button. Then I'm done for, basically. But yeah, I believe in these midnight battles and street races, you actually have like the. If you guys played Force Horizon 2, you would know that the checkpoints were actually these like smoke things. But in the races. I just crashed, whoops. Um, in the proper races, like the standard races you get in Forza, um, they're now flags. So that was an interesting fact. I'm really not doing well at this. Um, that was a fact you guys probably didn't need to know, but I thought I'd tell you anyway. Um, if you didn't know that, but yeah, that's what I'm like. Let's just take this corner. Didn't do that very well, but the M3 is nowhere in sight, so I don't know where it is, but we can make a few mistakes. There's not too many. Well, I hope we won't, but you never know what can happen. Break into this corner, hopefully make it. Well, well, I kind of made it, but. I'm not very good at taking these corners, you know? I used to be really good at Forza, now I just drift, basically. So my driving skills aren't great on this game. Um, but here we go. We're going up to the finish line. Hopefully we make it. Yes, we did. First place. There we go. We got an M3. And yeah, that's pretty awesome, getting an M3 of our own. And he's not even anywhere near finished yet. We'll wait until he's finished. Hopefully it's a quick car. Oh, my controller battery's low. Okay, cool. Um, two minutes, 21. Not too bad, but we beat him, so it's just one of those. He's lost his car. I kind of feel sorry for him as well. Oh, or was it a her? But anyway, never mind. Uh, an achievement as well. That's cool as well to get the uh, to the, get the points or whatever you call them. So nine grand, not too, not too shabby for that race. Could have been better as a midnight battle, but we do get a car. So you can't moan at that. There you go. A body kit that wide on a car this fast. It's a wonder this thing doesn't take off. I'll just keep it in the garage, shall I? Uh, yeah, you can do that. You just can't drive it or steal it or whatever you want. Because this is my car. My car. You're not taking it. Uh, so we're just going to head over to the garage, see what this car's all about. And yeah, I think we'll leave the episode here, and I hope you guys look forward to episode 2. I really do need to get all of those fast travel boards like I did in Forza Horizon 2, because I fast travel quite a lot when I'm making these videos, because it's just easier uh, than driving all the way. And uh, just going to throw this out there, this room's getting really hot, um, so I'm going to leave the episode. After we've checked the uh, BMW out, I believe they should have put it in my garage. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it doesn't come with its body kit and stuff. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, that's a bit weird. You would have thought it would have came with its body kit. Like, that's how pink races work, right? I don't I don't know. I've never done one in real life. I, I can't drive, guys. If you, if you didn't realise, I'm underage for driving. Don't drive if, if you're underage. Uh, I hope this body kit's free. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. Cool. So we've got the wide body uh, E E is it E thirty six? I I don't really know. I'm not I'm not into these kind of cars. Um, but yeah, so we'll just test this car out, see if it drifts well. But I'm really pleased with that. I I really wanted to do the midnight battle for ages, but obviously you have to earn it kind of thing. So we'll see how it sounds. It sounds alright actually. It sounds okay. It drifts quite well. Mm, maybe I don't know. We'll see how it drifts around. 
Nah, actually, that's pretty bad at drifting. Pull, pull the handbrake a bit. No, okay, that can't drift. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of this Horizon Let's Play. Uh, if you guys want me to do any other rough episodes that aren't related to the Let's Play or drift builds, then please leave that in the comment section, and I'll see you guys soon.